Hey everyone, I'm going to use my SATA um, HVLP 1.3. This is uh, code 475. Now, we're going to do a little blow in here. We have a little burn through there from polishing. And uh, so I wanted to show you a quick video on how I do this. Probably about 10 minutes. I'm not sure actually. It might be three hours. You never know. Um, by the way, I'm Gabriel from Motivated Painters, the channel you are watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I don't think you'll regret it. Maybe you will. I don't know. But it's worth finding out. So we got 800, 1,000, and 5,000. I'm not sure if you can see the fine scratches. Okay. But I got 5,000 running all the way over here. So when doing a blowing, here's a really, really good tip for you. Give yourself lots of room. Lots of room equals a beautiful finish product because you're not trying to create miracles you're already trying to do a miracle of blending that edge which you know you know you you should be doing the whole entire repair but in this situation what we are doing here inevitably is a little blow in there's tiny little there so I'm gonna dust a little bit of color on there and then I'm going to show you how I blend it so this is 5,000 here I got this Colad sensor so I wanted to try them out um, part number 9090. So I think they work pretty well for most vehicles. You just take it off like that. They have a little tap. And if I do this right, it should cover. And it does. Look at that. Like a glove. So uh, that's pretty useful um when you're doing those because then when you're done painting you just take it off and that's it so a little quick not really formal review but uh, these things are awesome i like them a lot so just a little quick wash want to make sure that this is very clean this is clean already and i uh, just want to make sure close okay I'm gonna put the pressure down and look at the direction that I'm spraying okay very lightly dusting the trigger I'm barely pulling the trigger very barely pulling the trigger okay and that's all we need for this that's it it's covered it's perfect it's great so now I have absolutely no base here absolutely no base here and that's extremely important when doing a blowing or a smart repair whatever you want to call them very important that on your blend area you have absolutely no base at all so we got that and I'll show you how to clear it next all right base is down Give it a quick pack. You see my welcome uh, 1.2 HDE clear. I'm gonna bring down the uh, bring it down. I'm gonna do it at 22, 22 to create last over spray, okay? And I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna spray that way, okay? Play around the trigger. All right. So, that looks beautiful, and I was spraying that way, okay? Now I'm gonna put my blender right here. I'm using a 1K 
spot blender from Spray Max. So right away, I like to go like this to use the, the spray pattern of the blender, okay? So that 5000 is so fine that the blender just settles in there so nicely, okay? And then you're able to have such a smooth finish. If you have the prep right, when it comes to blends, then you get a beautiful finish every time. So now, So now we got the prep right. Now you can't even see a transition between the blender and the clear, right? We have a little bit of uh, blender here, dryness, and that's okay. We'll run the polisher over that and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, but look at that, it looks beautiful. Love it. I'm gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 120 degrees. Okay, so we got the blow in here, ready for polish. Now, as you could tell in the booth, over here I have my satellite there and Sahari is my good uh, assistant here. <laughs> and he's the one that makes all my jobs look uh, presentable. But we're going to... He's doing um, very good detailing. He's doing very good detailing, yes, that's right. <laughs> um, so we're going to, as you can tell, a little bit of the overspray there. So what I like to do with uh, blowings is you 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 want to do as little as possible as you can with the blowing so if you don't have to sand them don't sand them that's why the preparation of it is very 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 important because then that way you don't have to do so much after so we're going to have a little bit of compound on there using the super finish 3500 from Monserna and then have some on the pad now you want to go slow, especially on black finishes, you want to go slow. And I'm just going really slow. And like I said, you want to try to kind of do the least as possible. When you do a, a good job prepping the blowing, then that saves you time when you're polishing it, if you have to polish it at all. This one turned out really well, and that's why I'm not really touching it that much. I'm just going slowly with the with the black 3M pad and the Mancerna stuff. You have the right? Okay. All right. What do you think, Safari? Looks okay. I think we're good Perfect. to go. Okay, so that's all we needed to do, right? And I think the, the prep is very important, right? You don't hear any overspray or nothing like that. So there you have it, boys and girls. I hope that's helpful. And uh, if you did have to, you know, do a little bit more work on it, then just start with 5,000 and then do your normal polishing process, but do it slowly. Polishing blends always have to be done slowly with the wool, with the white foam, with the black foam, whatever you're polishing with, just do it slowly and carefully because you don't want to heat that blender up so much that it starts rolling back on you. And the prep is very important. That's why, um, you know, in some of this, some of this blowings, I prepped 3,000, 5,000 here, like I showed you before. So the blender is very thin. So the blender needs thinner sand scratches to settle itself into. So that's it. I hope that's helpful. Peace. God bless. Thanks, Sahariano.